The Indian Army foiled an infiltration attempt in the Uri sector this morning. In the operation, one soldier laid down his life in the line of duty. After the failure of its FATA-1 and FATA-2 ballistic missiles, Pakistan has unveiled its new FATA-4 high subsonic cruise missile that has a range of 750 kilometers. South Korean police have arrested a Pakistani national working in a market in Seoul, but was found to be linked to Pakistan's LET terror group. India has updated its no time for 20th August to 21st August, extending the designated danger zone in the Indian Ocean from 1,560 km to 2,530 km. China will begin work on a major 5,000 km rail link connecting Hotan in Xinjiang to Lhasa in Tibet, with parts of the route running near the line of actual control with India. India's guided Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher has been spotted in Armenian camouflage ahead of delivery. South Korea has fast-tracked the acquisition of the KF-21 Block II fighter jet. Union Minister of State for Defense met his Nigerian counterpart in New Delhi, and discussions covered counter-terrorism training, research and development, maritime cooperation and industry collaboration. The Union Cabinet of India has approved four new semiconductor manufacturing projects in three states with a total investment of 4,594 crore rupees. The 160 km range Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile will begin integration on the Tejas Mark I aircraft in fourth quarter of 2025. The Indian Coast Guard is in the process of acquiring remotely piloted aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles for maritime reconnaissance surveillance and intelligence gathering capabilities. Delhi-based SMPP Limited and the Philippines Asia Defense and Firepower Corporation have signed an MOU to form a joint venture in the Philippines, to manufacture and supply SMPP's defense products under the country's self-reliant defense posture initiative. The DRDO is developing an indigenous ACE radar for the marine utility helicopter, as the Navy seeks around 50 marine utility helicopter for deployment on frontline warships. The Indian Navy has completed rescue seat certification for the South African Navy's submarine SAS Mantadzi, ensuring compatibility with India's submarine rescue system for rapid response in emergencies. India has initiated talks with Russia for procuring both the 200 km range Max 6 capable R-37 Vimpel hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, and the 400 km range Max 6 plus R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, as Indian Air Force aims to fill a critical long-range air-to-air capability gap in its arsenal. The Indian Air Force is pushing to quickly acquire two more squadrons of either the S-400 or the more advanced S-500 system. Reports indicate that India will opt for the S-500 if delivered before 2029, otherwise, the Indian Air Force will opt for more S-400. A combined S-400 and S-500 deployment would ensure that Pakistani jets are unsafe even deep inside their own airspace, while also providing the capability to intercept ballistic missiles, cruise missiles and hypersonic threats. A high-level Kazakhstan delegation has arrived in India, and talks were held on collaboration to upgrade Kazakhstan's Su-30 SM fighters, leveraging India's advancements under its Super Shukhoi modernization program. Kazakhstan's 30 Su-30 SMs share 80% commonality with India's Su-30, and Kazakhstan has expressed interest in diversifying beyond Russian support, amid sanctions-related supply challenges. The DRDO has developed the Very Long Range Tracking Radar, which is a fully indigenous gallium nitride-based ACER-L band radar for India's ballistic missile defense phase 2 program. It can detect track and provide precision data on ballistic as well as hypersonic missiles up to 5,000 km away. The radar supports interceptors like AD-1 and AD-2, offering multi-target tracking and long-range surveillance in all phases of missile flight. Today's top 3 comments.